Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Marie Claire. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Qudaybiyah Palace today a number of senior state officials. His Royal Highness commended Bahrain's status as a historic model for tolerance and coexistence, thanks to the maturity and awareness of Bahraini society. He added that the kingdom possesses many cultural and historic components that are considered as tourist attractions, reinforced by the tolerant nature of the people. The Prime Minister stressed the need to focus on the current phase in service of the development march to achieve resources sustainability and redirect them in a way to preserve their capability of growth and overcoming present challenges. He pointed out the importance of communication among the people and committing to strengthening the one family spirit and national interest in light of the ongoing challenges so as to protect the kingdom's security and stability and achieve progress and prosperity for its people. The meeting also discussed the development of the health sector in the kingdom and the importance of hosting conferences in this field to further polish the skills of medical and therapeutic staff. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted Bahrain's interest in the development of the health sector and providing more facilities to establish hospitals and specialised health centres in order to expand therapeutic options for citizens. He said the steps would contribute in turning Bahrain into a destination for medical tourism, which would contribute in strengthening the national economy. The Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Civil Service Council, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, launched today the Institute for Public Administration BIPA Strategic Plan 2016 to 2018 in the attendance of a number of ministers and senior officials. The Deputy Prime Minister affirmed that the vision of developing the civil service sector is based on investing in innovative and trained human resources in order to achieve sustainable development in that field. He also affirmed the importance of setting plans and strategies that aim to develop the government's performance, especially amid the current situation that faces factors which might affect the work mechanism. A number of graduates from the institution were honoured during the ceremony. For his part, BIPA Director General Dr. Raid Mohammed bin Shams expressed his thanks and appreciation to the Deputy Prime Minister for his constant support for the institute.
Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, chaired the weekly meeting today where the Council expressed congratulations to Bahraini and Arab women on the occasion of Arab Women's Day, highlighting the efforts of Arab women in the development process in all fields. The Council underlined women's status and achievements made under His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's reform project and their active contribution to show Bahrain's prestigious image at regional and international levels, lauding the role of Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, in supporting and empowering Bahraini women in all areas. The Council also approved a suggestion regarding the amendment of the passport's law provisions and another suggestion regarding the rehabilitation of people with special needs. The Council then discussed a report in the participation in the first GCC parliamentary meeting regarding enhancing relations with the European Parliament that was held on October 7th in Qatar and another report on the participation in the works of the parliamentary coordination and GCC foreign relations held on November 5th in Saudi Arabia. Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health, the SCH, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, met today with the Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, at the Interior Ministry headquarters to discuss the latest development regarding the National Ambulance Project. The Minister of Interior hailed the remarkable efforts of the SCH in developing the health sector in the kingdom and affirmed that the National Ambulance Project comes in response to citizens and residents' needs of following up with the latest development in the field of ambulance and safety. The Minister affirmed the necessity of exchanging expertise in this field and expressed his thanks and appreciation for all those who contribute in setting plans and strategies for the project. Public Security Chief Major General Tariq Al Hassan then briefed the attendees on the phases of implementing the project. Attendees were also briefed on the technical equipment in the operation room of the National Ambulance Centre at the Ministry of Interior. Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health expressed his thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Interior for his keenness to enhance joint cooperation and noted the importance of enhancing coordination with hospitals to achieve the desired goals. And now it's time to hand you over to Mohammed with the latest in business news. Good evening, Mohammed. Good evening, Mary Claire. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain Television. Under the patronage of the CBB Governor Rashid Al Maraj and BHP Chairman Yusuf Hamoud, Bahrain Bourse launched today the Treasury Bills Market with the listing of 11 issues by the CBB. Treasury Bills Market in BHP it's, is considered one of the largest markets in the region with consideration to the number of issues currently listed and issues to be listed in the future. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,187.10 points, an increase of 15.47 points above last closing. The rise was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors, with the former representing 16.05% of total shares. 65 transactions included 2,589,229 shares, while 258,942 Bahraini dinars. One government treasury bill and short-term Sukuk transaction included a volume of 1 million worth 999,750 Bahraini dinars, representing 79.43% of securities traded. <laughs> 